नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर आशा बख्शी फ्रॉम इंदौर वेलकम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन आंसर सीरीज अवर टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज टू डॉक्टर राजेंद्र नागरकट्टी डॉक्टर राजेंद्र नागरकट्टी इज फ्रॉम मुंबई एंड ही इज ऑब्सटेट्रिशियन एंड गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट विथ कीन इंटरेस्ट इन आई वी एफ एट प्रेजेंट ही इज द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ फॉक्सी एंड एमॉक्स मिड लाइफ मैनेजमेंट कमिटी एंड हैज रिसेंटली डन लॉट्स ऑफ एक्टिविटीज अंडर हिज कमिटीज डॉक्टर राजेंद्र नागरकट्टी यू वुड एग्री दैट मैनी अ टाइम्स वेमेन वेन दे कम विथ प्री टर्म लेबर वी नीड सम सॉर्ट ऑफ टोकोलिसिस What is the tocolytic of your choice in preterm labor and how to use it? Hello friends at the outset I wish to thank Dr Asha Bakshi madam for inviting me to be a part of this question and answer series the tocolytic of my choice the various tocolytic drugs that are available include the beta sympathomimetic drugs like isoxaprine hydrochloride and ritodrine oxytocin antagonist atorsiban calcium channel blockers like nifedipine nitrous oxide donors like gtn and others like magnesium sulfate the beta sympathomimetic drug isoxaprine hydrochloride is one of the most frequently used tocolytic agents to arrest preterm labor it is generally given as an intravenous infusion of 40 mg in 500 ml of dextrose or ringlelight it may however give rise to palpitations tachycardia sometimes hypotension hyperglycemia and pulmonary edema it is therefore contraindicated in cardiac disease patients and also in diabetes mellitus which is uncontrolled so therefore today we have a newer drug with a better safety profile and is the tocolytic of my choice and that is the oxytocin antagonist atorsiban Atorsiban has a specific action only on the myometrial tissue and therefore it has the best maternal and fetal safety profile. Atorsiban is available as a 1 ml ampule of 6.75 mg and a 5 ml vial of 37.5 mg. The dosage generally consists of first giving the 1 ml dosage 1 ml ampule as a slow intravenous dose bolus over 1 minute. and this is then followed by one and a half vials that is 7.5 ml of the 37.5 mg vial in 500 ml of saline given at a drip rate of 60 drops per minute which is 300 micrograms per minute over 3 hours this is then followed by a slower infusion of 7.5 ml in 500 ml of saline given at a drip rate of 20 drops per minute that is 100 micrograms per minute over 9 hours five such infusions can be given that is 9 into 5 45 hours so over the next 45 hours till complete uterine quiescence is reached it may give rise to occasional nausea vomiting and some mild allergic reactions as i said earlier it has the best safety profile and it has no serious adverse drug reactions it has no contraindications therefore the rcog and the international pre term labor recommendations and guidelines committee advocates atorsiban as the first line of treatment for tocolysis so also have many other european and south american countries advocate it as the first line of treatment i have used it frequently and found it very effective yes cost is an issue but just as we indians are adept at modifying this factor we have newer modified regimens which are being tried the first is in threatened preterm labor where only the first 1 ml ampule given as a slow intravenous bolus over 1 minute has been found effective to stop the labor contractions secondly in early preterm labor this first 1 ml dosage is then followed by the 3 hour infusion of 7.5 ml and then followed by the 9 hours infusion of 7.5 ml in 500 ml of saline so total of 12 hours so this regimen is over 12 hours and this has also been effective in arresting early preterm labor with some amount of cervical dilatation 
these regimens are being tried at various centers in india and trial is going on and i'm sure it will be effective thank you